Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got 10 new and updated mods for Farming Simulator 22 to take a look at. We've also got one update for Farming Simulator 19. As far as FS22 for all platforms, we've got eight new and one update. And for PC Mac, we've got one new. I make mod review videos every time mods drop on the official in-game mod hub, regardless of what platform they're on. So get subscribed if you're new so that you don't miss any of them. All out of the way, let's take a look at them. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We've got the Lizard Road Rage. This is from Vector Man. It's basically the Ford Mustang. This has been around for a few games now, and it is back. So you've got something new to use. 460 horsepower, manual transmission, 120 liters of fuel. That's a whole lot for this. 124 miles an hour, which is super fast and is going to be three slots on console. We've got configurations, additional lights, no and yes. You can change those up. Just add a few extra ones in the front. Main color, we've got that as well. We do have some custom colors. So we've got a nice white, metallic green, metallic blue, red, gray, and orange. Actually, I had a buddy that had this exact color in college. Plus, you could choose any of the base colors that we've got. And then we have design color. These are going to be the stripes down the top. So if you want stripes, you could do that. However, let's say I don't. Well, just change those stripes the same color as your car and boom, the stripes disappear. We also have license plates on here as well. I'm on Comston Farm right now. So we've got European license plates. However, if you're on an American map, well, you'll have those on there as well. It's a pretty sweet looking car overall, really cool. And I'm so glad that this is a back for players to enjoy. Next up, we've got the JCB 325T from Land Dev. This is not really a new skid steer, but it's got some new customization and it looks super, super cool. 74 horsepower, 103 liters of fuel, eight miles an hour, 8.4 or 4.5 tons, 8.4. Can you imagine how heavy that would be? And five slots, so not bad at all. Configurations, we have the 260 Eco and we have the 325T. That's gonna give us some nice tracks here. Uh, these are not 3D tracks. A little disappointing because everything is 3D tracks these days. So it would be cool to see those 3D, but it is what it is. Now we do also have some other features as well. Now these are all going to be between one and two slots and we've got plenty of it. So you got a bell spike right here. We also have a brush and log fork. You got a pallet fork that goes with this, a bucket, 1200 liter capacity there, and a stump grinder. All of these are just normal. You can't change up the customization any, but it is really nice to see that we've got all of this. So there you go, the JCB 325, where'd it go? T, yeah. Next up, we've got a mod from 82 Studio. As a matter of fact, we got two of his mods today. The first one is going to be the Lizard Logistics 20-foot gooseneck trailer. Unfortunately, the 82's logistics could not be used anymore. That is a custom lizard brand from him, by the way, which is really, really cool. This is the first mod that he ever released for Farming Simulator 19, and it is only fitting that it is his first tool mod to be released for Farming Simulator 22. Weighs six tons, it will hook up via gooseneck, but we can change that up. Let's talk about it. Design, we've got wood design, metal, back and forth between those, branding, yes or no. So you can have that Lizard Logistics 20 foot brand on there, or you could take it off. That's on the gooseneck part itself. Attacher type, we've got gooseneck or bumper pull. Maybe you want to pull this with a tractor. Maybe you want to attempt to pull this with a truck. Wouldn't pull this with anything other than a TLX 2020 be fair base game trucks will not handle it um so go with whatever you want through there the gooseneck base trucks will handle just fine we'll set up so we got standard nucky and tires wheel or uh, wide tires and back to standard again we do have a main color we're just gonna change this up to nitro blue so you can see exactly what it's changing up nitro blue best color in the world and then of course rim colors we'll just change that to a john Deere green so you know what that is and there you go that is your Lizard Logistics 20 foot gooseneck trailer from 82 Studio. Also from 82 Studio, we've got the Overfirth Seed Runner 3755XL. Yes, yes, a branded real version. The seed tender, so cool. Yes, let's take a look. So with this, we've got an 8,000 liter capacity, which is very, very nice. And then we've got main color. Uh, we'll just change this up to Old Citadel so you can see. So that's gonna be the primary color. Design color, we'll change this up to a Tiffany blue so you can see. So that's gonna be your frame as well as the auger. And then of course, rim colors, well, those are pretty pretty standard. 
Uh, maybe don't use this color option, but if you want to use this mod, we're going to reset that. Definitely, definitely check it out. One cool thing is it doesn't hold just seeds. As you can see at the bottom right, it holds all kinds of stuff. So definitely take a look at it. Check it out. You're going to love it. Have you been wanting to have a larger corn head? Well, we got you. The Kbeo Quasar HS16 weighs 5 tons, 12 meters spread at 6 miles an hour. Does corn and sunflowers and is 3 slots on consoles. This is from Hispano Modding. And as far as I can tell, I think this is their first mod released for Farming Simulator 22. So congratulations, Hispano. Uh, main colors. Well, we've got a couple here. Kbeo. We've got Case. We've got the Ideal. Cloth green, cloth white, John Deere green, and John Deere yellow. Uh, let's go to cloth green, for example. Uh, well, this looks bad with the red on the front, which is why they've given you multiple options here. So you've got the Capeo, you can do a case, the ideal, the ideal. You can do cloth green there as well. I know that there's white uh, in the real version, so it maybe would be cool to have uh, unlimited color options versus just having some set color options for these. But as it sits right now, the base bottle, this is pretty cool. We also have a new cultivator for all platforms, the Rabivork G6260. Oh yeah, check out the uh, the logo on this. Looks very good. This is a uh, about a half ton, 90 horsepower car, 2.6 meter working with, and nine miles per hour. No one needs small cultivators anymore. We have plenty, but at least this one does look good. Uh, design one, design two, change it up however you like. We got multiple different color options here. Uh, it's only two slots on console, so it's not like it's going to take up a whole lot of space for you. But if you need a smaller cultivator, check it out. I don't think anyone needs a smaller cultivator, though. Just saying. Your next to last new one for all platforms today is going to be the Lizard Weight Pusher. This is also from Hispano Modding. So there you go. 800 kilograms, at least to start with. Look, just looks like a front weight, right? Well, that's the beauty of this. You can use it as a pusher or not. So 800, 900, uh, a ton, 1100, 1200, 1300, and back down. Then pusher configurations, no pushers. You could do the right one at, uh, what was that, 1400 millimeters? So what was that 1.4 meters, I think? Left pusher, you could do both, and then you could do a little bit bigger. So that is kind of cool, left and right, up to uh, 300 uh, centimeters? Is that, a, is that three meters, nine feet? Something like that. I'm, I don't know, I'm from the United States. I'm trying, man. Screw configurations, we've got that with or without. Uh, doesn't do anything. So it's a little vice grip, that's kinda cool. Uh, hitch configurations, we've got without hitch or you could throw a hitch on the front. And the main color, let's change this up to, well, we'll just do cloth green. And then color reflective, you've got red, yellow, and orange. Change the power however you need. Hey, this is cool. One slot, by the way. And your last new one's going to be the water hydrants pack. So a pack of three different water hydrants. If you want to find them, go into buildings, go to container, and they're going to be found right here. 600, 800, and 800 bucks, respectively. Good looking. Get you some water from them. Very, very nice. They do say it's 30% off the price of water. I thought water was free, so... Just go from there. There you go. Water hydrants pack. As far as mod updates go for all platforms, we've got the Catrol and Pigtrol diesel tanks. <laughs> Love these things. I don't use them, but I think they're awesome. Change log on these version 1.001. Move the field trigger to the front of the tanks and adjusted the test areas. If you want to use these, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to open the door and boop, the, the nose pops open, and now you can fill them, refill, do what you need to do. Uh, you can fill them up like that, or like normal, just do whatever, and you're good. Plus, click it, closes, and your triggers go away. So you do have to open it to use the triggers, do know that. And your only new mod for PC players today is going to be the MP Lift Front Loaders from Famari 99. These are configurations of the 240, 50, 60, 45, 55, 65, and 75. So different horsepower, uh, respectively. The number is actually not the horsepower rating at all. 60, 70, 80, 60, 70, 80, 120. Uh, we'll just take a look at a little bit of customization here. So hoses, yes, you can add those, yes or no. You've also got angle uh, display. I'm not sure what that's doing i mean I, I see what it's doing i'm just not sure how that 
works but nonetheless there you go and then we've got a main color on here as well you do black red blue green or gray so i hope you're using john deere uh or case or new holland or a black tractor because they're not going to match otherwise uh basically you've got identical customization to all of these and for you guys that are playing at farming simulator 19 we do have an update to the massey ferguson 9407s telehandlers version 1.2 Point three specular textures of the decals have been changed and it has been adapted for farming simulator 22 which is great because well this game's not fs22 at all it's farm sim 19 because that is gonna be it for today's new mod video hope you enjoyed it. if you did make sure you drop a like get subscribed if you're new join the gohan fam make sure your notification bells are on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel channel uh let's see first today goes we got uh farm sim news coming out a little bit later and then no farm sim show today i don't think we're going to be doing it this week we've spoken with meet the gamers and it looks like we're going to be moving it to next week but keep you guys updated just in case something happens we said hope you have a great day we'll see you later peace